Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough review of this uh, beautiful 19 foot sportsman that we've just finished doing a full electronics fit up to. If that interests you, stay tuned. Got a lot to go through. It's an absolutely amazing boat. Starting at the bow, we've got the awesome 75 inch Garmin Force Kraken electric trolling motor. This is powered by 36 volt Green Marine lithium batteries, giving it 100 pound of thrust. Uh, it's gonna have absolutely no problems anchoring this boat on spot, moving it around. Uh, it's mounted on the Garmin quick release bracket uh, and we've used these heavy duty Ming Coda quick release plugs and supporting it on the factory Garmin shaft stabiliser. It's in there nice and neatly, neat as a pin, gonna provide hours and hours and hours of accurate anchor lock and direction control whilst these guys are out there on their fishing grounds. Now at the transom, We've installed the factory supplied Sea Star by Dometic trim tab system. This one here is a Garmin GT56 ultra high definition UHD side down view and high wide traditional sonar transducer. Amazing on the inshore estuaries and out in the dams. In the middle on the back here, which fit nice and neatly. Is a Macris underwater light, fit flush to the transom. Next to it, we've got the AMR TM275 one kilowatt low chirp and high wide chirp frequency transducer, uh, coupled with the Garmin GSD28, which we'll show you a little bit later in this walkthrough. Should be doing bottom returns to over a thousand meters with heave and pitch compensation and rapid return, it's gonna be unstoppable. The other side there, of course, starboard side trim tab. So that is a transom anyone would be proud of. She's powered by Yamaha, 150 horsepower DET, electric steering, so no hydraulic steering to worry about down here. Makes rigging so much neater. Awesome engines, highly recommend the electric steering if you're in the market for a new outboard. Now yeah, climbing aboard, do a review of the center console. As you can see, it is loaded with some of Garmin's greatest electronics. Starting at the top, we've got a Garmin GPS map 8416 XSV and below it a Garmin 8410 GPS map XSV. Uh, next to it here, we have the Dometic trim tab system controller in the cup holder is the remote for the Garmin crack and trolling motor. Below it is Baji Marine Custom switch panel. All our switches are IP67 waterproof rated. They're all got backlighting behind the switch. In these Sportsman's we do individual circuit breakers because we literally pull out the uh, standard switch panel which have that already in it. So that just makes the changeover easier. And all our switch panels are backlit. So it makes seeing those switch labels at night or in those low light conditions actually possible. These switch panels are all custom made, engineered right here in Salmsby at Bargy Marine, tailored to suit your boat. How good do they look? And below that, we've got the Garmin VHF 115i paired up with the Pacific 1.5 meter whip antenna. And below the Yamaha Digital Binnacle there, we've got the Victron Gauge. And that's the battery monitor, the BMV 712. This boat's uh, powered by lithium on its house circuit. So we install battery monitors to um, enable us to closely monitor the state of charge and voltage of the lithium battery and also set up alarms so that the operator of the vessel knows when um, he's getting to a point where he needs to Start putting some charge back into that battery before it goes flat. Great peace of mind and a great looking center console. One thing these sportsmen 
are not great at is giving us as installers access to work on the boats. So we've literally got these two hatches. There's my hand for reference. Inside there, we've got to get all our batteries, all our cabling, all our charges, everything that's got to make that boat function. So we spent a lot of time working in tiny little holes like this. It's a credit to my team. That we're able to pull off such amazing, neat workmanship on these. Um, so up the front here now, we're looking at the two 36 volt batteries. Uh, these are 50 amp hours each connected in parallel, obviously giving us 100 amp hours of capacity, which will give the owner of this boat days and days of use of that brushless Kraken force trolling motor. Um, in here, we set up our fuse for our AC 36 volt charger and a circuit breaker for the electric motor circuit. Under here, believe it or not, there is an MSC-10, a Garmin satellite compass, undermounted at the deck. Uh, we yet to actually run this on the water and see that this is going to perform as required. But so far, all the tests we've done here on the trailer are looking very promising because there is nowhere to install these instruments on boats like this. So we need to sometimes get a little bit creative. And under here, a little bit difficult to see, but that's the Green Marine 36 volt. 36 volt, 20 amp AC charger for these two batteries. It's waterproof, it's very happy living there. So that is a really nice, neat fit up of a couple of batteries in a very small space. Well done team. So, moving forward, under the cushion here at the front of this console, we've also had to get creative. There's this bag for storage. And then, Inside this space, yes, believe it or not, that is the Garmin GSD-28 sonar module mounted upside down inside the console. Again, another difficult place to get to, but we managed to keep everything nice and neat. And uh, that's the back of the shore power uh, 240 volt um, power lead point, which I'll show you on the other side. So basically this Boat has two batteries, uh, one uh, two battery chargers rather, one for the 12 volt house battery, one for the 36 volt Kraken Force trolling motor batteries. And basically we've given these guys a point to charge from. Waterproof, easy access, just one extension lead straight into there, both chargers turn on, nothing else to worry about. How good's that? And continuing on with our Battery conversation, we're down the back of the boat now, the raft, and um, sitting behind the bolstered seat, we've got a hatch, and inside this hatch we've had to fit all the other electrical hardware. So two batteries, DC-DC chargers, uh, battery shunts, uh, another AC charger, all your battery switching in isolation and fusing, uh, a plethora of gear, all through this tiny hatch, which literally just a battery can fit through. So lots of lots of hours spent working on your stomach in a very uncomfortable and cramped position. Uh, but here you have it. So we've got two batteries, a bit hard to see because they're side by side down here. Cranking battery and a Green Marine House Lithium 100 amp hour battery. Uh, and there's our battery isolation. So the isolator on the right is the main battery isolator. The one to the left is simply an isolator to completely isolate the lithium battery in the um, case that we need to do an emergency parallel for some reason. Uh, we've got a circuit breaker there in the middle for house power, uh, fusing, inline fusing there for the DC-DC charger. Uh, and then further back, which is very hard to see, there's a shunt um, and some 300 amp bus bars to make connections nice and simple. All of this is pre-assembled on the bench and then presented to the boat and we somehow manage to squeeze it in through this hatch. Uh, screw it off and then finish fitting it off which um, as you can see the boys have done a great job everything's nicely labeled so we know for future reference what is what and it makes it much simpler for the operator of the boat to um, work with anyway that's the uh, battery house battery and starting battery battery isolation panels all inside this lovely humongous space not all right and to finish off we've got our 12 volt dc fusing again another enormous hatch for us to work through 
uh, under here, we've got a Blue Seas 12-way fuse panel, uh, an NMEA 2000 backbone, which networks all the Garmin system. You can see everything here at Bargy Marine is very neatly laid out and labelled both on the cover of the fuse panel and each of the positive and negative conductor wires. So if at any stage this needs to be swapped out or that cover gets lost or you're trying to diagnose why something isn't working, you can single out each individual earth and positive cable and test it. Knowing hand on heart, you are working with the correct wire. And the same goes for our networks, be it ethernet or NMA 2000, everything's labeled. How neat is that? Bloody beautiful. All right, everyone, well, that concludes the uh, walkthrough of the electronics fit out. We've just finished this brand new 19 foot sportsman. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to uh, drop us a message or a comment um, or get in touch. You can access us through our website at www.bargymarine.com.au. Um, there's my phone number and email address. Don't hesitate to reach out. More than happy to help with any questions that you've got about potential fit up um, of a boat of your own. Be more than happy to help. All right, guys, until the next one, we'll catch you a bit later. Stay safe. Hope everything's well. Tight lines.